Hello and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom commands to your Minecraft server. For that, we're going to be using the My Command plugin. There are a few different ways to do this, but the best way to use basically get any commands you want and to do tons and tons of different things is to use a plugin like My Command. This is one we personally use on Breakdown Craft, and it's just a really, really, really good plugin. So we're going to be going over all of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex for an incredible incredible Minecraft server. There you can get a DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy. We actually love and use Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great server for you and your friends to get to enjoy or to even start a public server, check out Apex Minecraft hosting because they are the best place to do it. Check out Apex the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, here's the My Command plugin. As you can see, it allows you to make new commands in, in Minecraft. And what's cool is what it says registered commands. What it means is whenever you like, you know, auto filling game like if you do slash game mode space it's going to show you you know creative survival spectator adventure all that stuff you can do something similar with my command where you can do like slash server space and then it will automatically pull up all the different options so that's really really cool and something that you know is very unique to this plugin and one of the things i like about it it allows you to run other commands in one specific command you can run multiple commands with one command basically you can do delayed commands you can do you know shortcuts slash aliases and things like that of commands which is what we use a lot of stuff for for example you know on breakdown craft you can do slash tags or slash suffix to open up the suffixes menu so that's pretty cool and that's how we do that you can run commands with any items blocks books villagers npcs stuff like that there's console support that's pretty cool as well as economy support if you have vault i would recommend installing vault on any minecraft server by the way you should just kind of have that um it also has a placeholder api support which is cool for doing some custom things in chat and you know doing all sorts of different things with console and other plugins can hook into that very very customizable and overall it's just a ton of different things it's actually so customizable I'm not even going to try to customize this in depth and give an in depth like everything because it's impossible. The only way you're going to get that is to go here and it's obviously linked in the description down below. This is the my command documentation and when you're here, you can come over here and obviously you can see the commands and permissions which is cool but these are all the commands that are, you know, kind of involved with this plugin. Specifically, one that you're going to look at is the reload command so you can reload in game in order to get, you know, the commands added in. Basically, without having to restart the server, you can reload in game to get those commands added. But specifically, you want to go in here to configuration and example. And here are all sorts of different examples and uses for this plugin. Again, any command you want to add, you can pretty much add, right? I mean, you can even do custom error messages, add in permissions for commands. Everything can be done here. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to add features to Minecraft, right? But if you want to, like, add in things to where if you do a slash kit, for example, and sometimes you get one thing, sometimes you get another thing, you can actually do that with this plugin. So pretty cool stuff there. As you can see, you can do the tab completer for advanced use of that. You can see all that there. I mean, there's just so much stuff. It is overwhelming, right? Like overwhelming all the different things that you can do with this plugin. That's why there's no way this video would be seven hours long if I went through every single one of these features. I'm gonna give you some basic over here overview here, but feel free to go through this list for a more in-depth one. Now you can see all the command types here, and this can kind of give you a, a good example of the overview of this command. So you can do like a text command, which is gonna just you know kind of spit text back at the server or back at the player. You can do a run command, and then that's going to basically run a select set of commands you can run commands via the console as well you can do permission ads like for someone who runs a commit or command in game it adds a permission for them so that's pretty cool you can do warm-ups you know cooldowns on commands you can do warm-up and cooldown have those as the same you can run the command as an operator for example you know if you want people for whatever reason to do gmc but want it to be ran as an operator because that's all that can do that you can do that you can also set up like an icon inventory like icon menu that's pretty cool you can do bungee TPs. That's how you do that slash server that I was talking about. And then you also can do like run random commands this is where I was talking about getting different kits depending on, you know, like which time you run the command. All sorts of different stuff here. So much stuff. It is overwhelming. You can also do aliases as well and things of that nature, which is pretty important considering if you wanted to like, you know, have a two commands or one way to run a separate command like back and forth for example like i said being able to do slash tags and slash suffixes on a server so tons of stuff here it's overwhelming this is all very very important back down here because these are the placeholders that you can use for example the player placeholder here in order to get that as well as like health food i mean everything it can be gotten here it's kind of impressive server name all sorts of stuff then you can take that to the next level if you have placeholder api and that's going to add in a ton of different 
additional placeholders, which you can see here, all of the different plugins that work with this mod. It's overwhelming, and that's going to allow you to really take my command to the next level. So nevertheless, we're going to go ahead, we're going to download placeholder API, even though we're not going to be necessarily using it that in depth in this video, we're going to download it. And we also want to download my command. So once you're here, click on the most recent version. As you can see, it's compatible 1.8 all the way through 1.15 on the most recent version. We will keep both of those. I'm actually going to keep this up in the background because we're going we're gonna to have to come back here most likely. I mean, there's so much with this. It's, it's a ton. It is overwhelming of this, the amount of stuff that you can do with this uh, with this plugin. So nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and minimize everything here. Not a desktop, we do have my command and placeholder API. We're going to go ahead and get those installed. I also have Essentials and Vault already on this server, just because you should always have those two plugins, really. You should always have Vault and you should always have Essentials. So nevertheless, now let's go ahead and run this server. And then once we do, we'll see the config files generate there. So get those generated and then we'll be good to go. I will do a quick jump cut until the server is started up. There we go, the server is now started up and we can see my command has generated here, as well as placeholder API. Again, not gonna be using that that much. But if you click on my command, you'll be able to see all of the config files here. There's a lot of them. Again, most of this I'm not gonna touch here. What we're gonna be focusing on is the main config as well as the commands tab here, the commands folder, because the commands folder, this right here is where you're gonna find your commands. And then obviously the config.yml. It's just general stuff that you can check out and really you know kind of dig into if you want to you know change the general plugin overall now all this is very well documented and that's great because it's very very important that if you're a plugin developer you document everything just forewarning document everything if you are a plugin developer you will thank yourself later when you get a lot less questions so all this is listed here you can log stuff via the you know player data in the mysql if you want there are all sorts of different listeners here most of them actually set the false meaning they aren't really needed so yeah, overall, I would just suggest leaving this as is, not touching anything in here, unless you see, okay, I'm gonna need this specific thing. You know, you need to listen to move events. This plugin probably doesn't need to do that though. So I wouldn't do it. It's just gonna cause extra lag, right? That's all it's gonna do. So now we can go ahead and close out of that and jump into commands. Now you could create a new folder in here, a new file in here if you wanted. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna leave it examples.yml because it's not like you can do specific commands for specific things. It doesn't work like that, right? You need, you're gonna be able to do everything, right? That's what it's gonna do. You're gonna do everything in one file here and that's what we're gonna do. Um, now there are all the different types of commands listed up here and there's some example commands in here. For example, you can do slash GM and the alias is slash game mode, right? So basically the command it's gonna run is slash GM and the command you're gonna be able to run to do that is slash game mode. As you can see, my CMD dice, and this is actually how you can roll a dice, right? So it's going to roll a random number between one and six, and it's going to give you a, a dice roll there. You can do greets, and that's going to greet people as they join the server, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna give you a hi, hello, well, met, and all sorts of different stuff here. Just overwhelming amounts of different ideas and things that you can do. Help pages that are set up via this. You know, I mean, that's actually a very good idea that I hadn't thought about. You could set up my command, like help pages with other plugins using my command and spit this text out because all this is going to do when you run this command is spit the text out that is listed right here simple as that um, most of this when i'm designing these and, and doing these custom commands is just a lot of copy and paste right so i'm going in i'm copying i'm pasting i'm going back over to here and looking at this and, and seeing what do i want to do okay that's what i want to do and for example if you wanted to you know look more into like alias you can just search it here. And as you can see, here's creating an alias slash shortcut. So it makes it possible to run aliases in two ways. So there are two different ways to do this here, right? And that's what it's gonna do. It's pretty simple stuff. And if you, for example, here run slash L, it's going to run the list command. And then again, command here is slash L, it's going to run the alias list. Same thing, just a different way to do it, right? And you can actually run multiple commands, by the way, if you do it this way. So run CMD is gonna run this one. Then if you put another drop down, it's gonna run another one. So. Pretty in-depth stuff here, but once you kind of figure out what you want to do from, you know, like this list up here of like all the different things, you can search it. So let's say we wanted to do, I don't know, like open up the Anvil GUI, for example. It's a very unique one. So if we go ahead and search that here, oh, it's actually not pulling up the Anvil GUI in depth. So that's actually a place where they're, um, you know, is not working unless it's going to be in the icons menu here, which is very possible. No, nope, not the case. Seems like that's actually something that's missing from their configuration. Sorry about that, but... Nothing I can much do, just picked a random one. But one that I know will be here most likely is going to be like the add permission. So if we go ahead and search that, we can see here, here's block commands with a permission and how that works. So you can do the permission type here, add permission, and it's going to block this permission node. 
for example, and then if it does that, it's going to be nope. So, for example, if someone doesn't have the permission essentials.fly and they search or do slash fly on your server, that's how you can make come and say fly can be purchased on your, you know, store.breakdowncraft.com in our example, right? So that's how you can do that sort of a thing and allow it to, you know, get a kind of a little promo there every time someone runs a command that they don't have. That's actually a good way to, you know, increase sales on a server and things like that and is very, very strong and something that I do like to see here with, um, you know, this plugin and something that you can add. So this is how you can add custom commands to your server. There are so many different options. Most of the time you're gonna be doing things like the alias, right? So you're gonna be doing the alias, right? Like so, from my experience at least, if I can spell alias right. So you're gonna be doing the alias. How do you spell alias? What is even wrong right now? A-L-I-A-S, alias, there we go. You're gonna be using this one a lot. That's one that we use. You're also gonna be using broadcast a bit, for example, or just text, for example, sending the player a text. That's great because what that's gonna do is like when you do slash discord on breakdown craft, that pulls up the, you know, uh, uh, my command, text that shows that, right? Simple stuff like that. You can get very, very complicated with it and you know, you might choose to do that, but overall, this is going, those are the two that you're gonna probably use the most is alias and text. And then there are some that you're gonna use a little less, for example, like bungee cord, and being able to you know do the bungee tp and moving between bungee cord servers and things like that that's why when you do slash survival on any of our servers it's going to take you to aquatic or slash aquatic specifically or slash faction it's going to take you to the faction server on breakdown craft we're using the bungee tp with my command to do that now you can run commands via the console and that's pretty cool as well so let's say there's a particular menu you want to open you can actually with deluxe menu slash do slash dm menu name and then player name and it'll open if you run that via console so that's how we do that let's say you want to open up the slash server menu we're using deluxe menus and my command to be able to do that and then let's say once you're in there you want to open up a sub menu you can use my command to do that via the console it's pretty cool stuff it's a little complicated and as you can see you can get more and more in depth here and that's why it's so important to like go through the documentation and not just go into this blind and not just you know watch my video here and actually go through some of this when you specifically get down into it. So I kind of wanted to give you an overview. I think that's what I've done now. I'm going to jump in game and show you some of these custom commands and how they work to give you some examples. So what we're going to do is jump right into this server here. It's just a local server. And there's a lot of commands that are automatically set up here, right? So I'm going to pull this kind of over to the side and then we're going to, you know, be able to zoom in here. Going to give me a second. We're going to be able to zoom in here and check things out. So we zoom in, for example, we want to use this slash GM alias, right? So if we do slash GM, it's going to go ahead and be like, this is what you need to do. Now that wouldn't work if this wasn't working. So we can do like GM creative, for example. Then we can also do, you know, like dice. So slash my CMD dash dice. Do that, and there we go, we rolled a three. Now you might notice that that comes up red. Why is that? That's because it's not a registered command. So we can do a registered, I think it's register comma or colon true. Then we can go ahead and save that. And then we'll do slash my dash, or yeah, my CMD dash reload. And then we just wanna reload commands, boom. And now if we go ahead and roll that dice command, Boom. Okay, so it's still rolling that. It's not blue. Let me figure out how to fix that real quick. Ah, so the issue is this actually needs a server restart to work. So once you add in that register true, for example, and I actually added it on the wrong thing as well there. That's kind of a fail. But nevertheless, once you add in that register true, it's going to need a server reload to really work, right? That's why it's not pulling up blue there because it needs a server reload to do that. So there's all sorts of different stuff. I mean, just for example, being able to do slash L Oh, excuse me, slash L to be able to run the list there, as you can see. So many different commands, so many different things that you can do. Um, add permission, so slash command dash two dash over ride. Boom, and didn't do anything there. Might have done something in the console, but yeah, so many different things. Yeah, as you can see, it did recognize the command, but the server's not set up for permissions and thus it didn't do anything. So much stuff. I mean, so much stuff. For example, being able to see how many players are online. We can do boom, that command. We can see there are one players online, then it's gonna list those players. I mean, it is overwhelming, the amount of different things that this can do. I mean, it's just endless. It's absolutely endless. So here's an item cost example. You need five co cobblestone to use this command. All right, let's, let's grab some, some cobblestone there. Boom, and then let's do that. And there we go. We can see that you have spent $5 to see this message on cobblestone. I don't know why. I don't know why we're spending money and selling our cobblestone to see this message, but we are. So many different things. And it's overwhelming, right? It's overwhelming, but 
that's how powerful this is. This actually even has scoreboards. I didn't know about this. I didn't know that scoreboards were built into my commands. That's impressive. And something you can see here, this is how this is all set up and working. For example, if we wanted to change this to say, break down craft at the top, we could go ahead and save that. And then it will go ahead and run that again. Oh, sorry, gotta reload the plugin, of course. Gotta reload the plugin, boom. And then do that, and there we go. As you can see, it says breakdown craft right there now. So, so many features, I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I'm just rambling showing you all these. For example, this one's right here is cool. Being able to pull up a URL. So we go ahead and do that. It should call up that URL, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Hmm, that one might not be working. And see, that's the thing, you're gonna run anything. One thing I have learned, if a plugin is this feature packed, it's going to have some bugs in it. And that's one thing that you're seeing there. So here's an example of a lottery that you can run and get different things. So boom, run that, it's gonna run the lottery. And we got cobblestone, bread, apple, golden ingot, or diamond. Those are our options. It's going ahead and loading up the lottery there. And boom, we got two cobblestone. We can roll it again and get something else as it just sits here and wait. Four, three, two, one. Boom, there you go. We got ourselves three bread. So you can change all of that in here. So many different things, so many different things. It is overwhelming, but I hope you guys enjoy this plugin. If you do, give the video a thumbs up, go through all of these examples, copy over what you want, change what you want, set up your own custom ones. It will be incredible. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy the new custom commands on your Minecraft server, and I am out. Peace.